Aloha, Granada. I'm Chase. And I'm Lana, and this is your Hawaiian special video of Yusuf for Thursday, April 16th. We will be conducting an SBAC testing for juniors in the next two weeks. The bell schedule is posted online or you can stop by student services to pick one up. Juniors with the last name A through L will start at 8 to 10.30 on Mondays and Tuesdays. Juniors with the last name M through Z will start at 8 to 10.30 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Freshmen, sophomores, seniors, and juniors will, on their non-testing day will start at 10.45. If you need help in one of your classes, come by the library for peer tutoring. Tutoring is offered on a drop-in basis on Tuesdays and Thursdays during fifth period and after school. Do you want to make a difference at Granada? Then run for an ASB position next year. Applications are available outside leadership and Ms. Watson's room 102. Applications are due April 22nd. There's a mandatory lunch meeting for potential candidates today at lunch in the leadership room. Now here's Nick with the Batter Up Sports Wrap. Good morning, Granada. It's good to be back. Today, we'll be taking a look at the recent baseball tournament and more. I'm Nick Batters, and this is the Batter Up Sports Wrap. In boys volleyball last week, the boys lost to Amador 3 to 1, but bounced back a couple of days later to defeat James Logan 3 to nothing. Today, they travel to De La Salle High School to take on the Spartans at 5 p.m. Next Tuesday, they will head to Danville to face off against the Monte Vista Mustangs, also at 5 p.m. Last week against Livermore, our boys golf team picked up a crucial victory over their Crosstown rivals, winning 234 to 214. Nick McClendon shot 39, while Ian McLeod and Matt Jermalis shot 41 as they led the Matadors to victory. Today, the boys will take on Amador Valley, and next Tuesday they will tee off against California High School. In softball last week, the girls dropped their game to Crandallet by a score of 7-4, but rebounded two days later, topping Monta Vista 8-5, thanks to a walk-off three-run home run off the bat of Izzy gonzalez Velarde. Today, they play host to Foothill at 4 p.m., and next Tuesday they play Amador at home, also at 4 p.m. Last week, the varsity baseball team hosted their inaugural TPC Invitational, which they not only played in, but won. The boys topped Doherty Valley and Concord 3-2 in their first two games and beat Freedom High School 5-1 to capture the championship. Shortstop Alex Cups was named to the all-tournament team, going 4-5 for five in Granada's three games with a double and an RBI. Pitcher Robert Ciano was named the tournament MVP, pitching six and two-thirds innings, allowing two hits and one run while striking out five. In the three games, he also picked up a win and a save. Tomorrow, they will take on Foothill at home at 4 p.m., and next Wednesday, they will play host to the Amador Valley Dons, also at 4 p.m. Tomorrow, swimming and diving will take on California High School with diving on the road at 345, and our swimmers at home starting at 4 p.m. Today, in boys tennis, the guys will be hosting the Foothill Falcons at 4 p.m. Next Tuesday, they will travel to Pleasanton to face off against the Amador Valley Dons, also at 4 p.m. On Saturday, the boys lacrosse team will host San Ramon Valley at 11 a.m., and on Tuesday next week, they will travel to Cal High to face off against the Grizzlies at 5.30 p.m. Tomorrow, our girls lacrosse team hosts Foothill at home with varsity playing at 7. Then next Tuesday, they will play host to Newark Memorial. And tomorrow, track and field will be participating in the Woody Wilson Invitational. Make sure you come out and support our teams over the next week. Well, that's all I have for today, Granada. Thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a fun trimester. Back to you, studio. Thanks, Nick. Wrestlers, there will be a meeting at the Sonoma site tomorrow at 3 p.m., and an open mat follows that. If you have any questions, please see Coach Conover. Granada, how spirited are you? Well, it's time to find out. The class of 2018 is looking for a design of their spirit t-shirt. If you are interested, contact one of the class officers, Erica, Ryan, Ashley, or Lauren. You can also see Ms. Mabry in room P7 to get more information or submit a design. Entries are due tomorrow. The junior prom will be at the Corinthian Grand Ballroom this Saturday from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. Remember, you must bring your student ID, your receipt, and your approved dance guest pass if you are bringing someone to the dance. Your receipt is your ticket to the dance. And now, a new segment. All right, Anthony, what are the three branches of government? 
Um, the legislative, executive, and judicial. Judicial. Hey, good moments. What are the three branches of government? Okay, legislator. Representative. <laughs> Supreme. All right, handsome. What are the three branches of government? I don't know. Guess. Come on. Just guess. Federal. The legislative. Legislative, yeah. judicial, and executive. Con yeah. Consecutive. Consecutive. Uh, I think it's consecutive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Loyalty. Right. All right, handsome boys. What are the three branches of government? Uh, judicial, expedicial, and special. Right. Environment. Jud Judaism. <laughs> Jewism. All right, which one of you is the dumbest? Uh, legislative. Is judiciary mean something? Money. Money. There you go. Boom. All right, Maya, what are the three branches of government? Federal, state, and local. The Senate. Brandon. Brandon, just to ask you my question. Brandon. That guy's like a brick wall. Wow, I didn't know there were three. Auditions for the 2015-2016 dance team are April 20th to 22nd in the small gym. For more information, go to granadahigh.com athletics and click on dance. Hey Granada, interested in taking leadership next year? If so, stop by either the Leadership Room or Miss Watson's Room 102 to pick up an application. Students who are new to leadership want to get the green form for Leadership 1. Returning students make sure to grab the blue form for Leadership 2. No interviews this year, just make sure you submit your application before the deadline of April 30th. Seniors, if you're interested in applying for a community service red cord for graduations, applications are now available. Pick up your application from Ms. Mintz and applications must be turned in by May 13th. Students must have a minimum of 100 community service hours. This does not include hours from ROP classes or hours from leadership activities done during school hours. Well that's it for your special Hawaiian video overviews though. I'm Chase. And I'm Lana. Aloha Granada. This cleaning is glass. I like to do that. <laughs> What? So, multiple What's up? No. The junior prom will be on... Sorry, I was thinking about the Saturday thing. The Junior Prom will be at the Corinthian Grand Ballroom this Saturday from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. Remember that you bring your receipt in your student room. And now here's a new segment. <laughs> what?